Hey guys, my name is KJ OS and this is the WH-1000 XM5s from Sony and this is an upgrade to the XM4s that came out a couple of years ago and that was known as the best pair of noise cancellation headphones in the world. So I'm wondering if this can take that crown. Well, today I decided to do something different from all my videos. I'm gonna go out into the world because the weather is absolutely amazing today. And I have a packed day because I'm also an MBA student. I have to pick my courses today, have a couple of calls, and you know, just test out the XM5s and let you guys know if this is worth your time at all. Now, without taking too much of it, let's get this party started. The first thing I do in my day is head over to the gym. So while I work out, let's talk about the design. Now the design of the XM5s are very new and different from the XM4s. It is certainly bigger, big enough to cover your ears and restrict and reduce noise winds across its big frame. Now the headphones come in two colors and that is the black and silver. In my opinion, the silver color is definitely the better choice out of the two, and they strictly gave it a more minimal look with its design, stuff branding on both sides with the Sony logo on the left and right side of the earphones, and it's so small that most people will miss it. Now, even though the carrier bag is slightly bigger than the older model, the earphones are certainly lighter, coming in at 8.8 .8 pounds. It is certainly more comfortable and allows for more listening time. Now, just be careful though, you should take breaks every now and then just to be on the safe side. So I just finished my workout. It is currently 12, 10 p.m. and it was pretty late, but I had to do it all the same. Now the XM5s stood out very well to me when it came to the active noise cancellation and ambient sound. I could hear people walking in and out and I could also hear my music. So that is pretty dope, especially for people that are taking walks on the road and they need to listen to the environment. So that was pretty dope. Now, I remember when I first watched a couple of reviews of the XM5s, a lot of people said they didn't, it was a nitpick by the way, they said they didn't like the XM5s because you couldn't fold it on your neck. As you can see, I am currently doing that. It might not be as good as the XM4s, but it does the job nonetheless. Now, personally, I don't even like putting stuff on my neck because it's very uncomfortable. I'd rather just remove them and hold them in my hand or put them on the table if I just want, if I'm not listening to them. So that's just me. Anyway, I have a long day ahead of me. I have to go shower, get ready. I have to uh, pick a couple of my courses for my MBA for the fall and winter semester next year, as well as edit a few videos and get on a few calls for meetings. Let's see how I do and let's see how the XM5s will keep me company in that time. Let's go. So with these new pair of headphones comes with a lot of new features. Now to utilize these features, you will need to download the Sony Connect app from the Play Store or the App Store. Now from the app, you can easily take control of everything from active noise cancellations, your transparency mode or ambient sound, or you can just easily turn it off. With ambient sound, you can control how much those eight microphones can pick up sounds from your environment. You put it on the max or you can reduce it to any level you want. Another feature that is here that is also on the XM4s is holding the right side of the headphones to automatically reduce your music. This helps if someone is trying to get your attention and you either don't want to pause your music or you have your hands preoccupied. Now when you remove your hand, the music turns back up almost instantly which is very dope. Now with the XM4s, I use this feature a lot of the time. The third feature is the worst feature out of all. It is called speak to chat and the main function is to pause your music if you talk or even make a sound that sounds like a word. It is honestly more annoying than useful because I've been wanting to sing some earth, wind and fire in my everyday life, but immediately I start singing, my music stops. And it takes about almost 10 to 15 seconds for your music to come back, which is again, very annoying. Right now, I'm on my way to the coffee shop that is about seven minutes away. It's a great place to get work done. It's very quiet and caters to a lot of students within the community. Honestly, I come here a lot to just zone out of everything and just get shit done. And I order my coffee because, you know, coffee is life, even though I shouldn't be drinking coffee on a daily basis. But here I am. So let's get work done. I 
everything so far about the Sony XM5 has been great. From the sound quality to the active noise cancellation and of course ambient sound. Now, so far I have registered for my classes, I had a couple of meetings with a few friends and of course I had to review a document for a product launch later this year. It's a lot but I had I eventually got it done. So right now I want to head over to the park or grocery store. Right now the weather isn't looking so great. Um, I wanted to go to the park but it looks like it's going to rain. So because of that I'm going to head to the grocery store, get a few things and record my call quality for you guys to hear if the call quality on the XM5 has improved over the XM4s. Let's get it. So I am currently at the grocery store. I'm outside and I want to test the audio quality on the WH-1000XM5s. I am currently on the call with my uh, fellow YouTubers, that is Eric Okafo, Valor Reviews and Easy. Um, and I'm going to ask each of them how I sound so you guys can get different perspectives. Um, so Valor, how do I sound right now uh, with this pair of headphones? Awesome, you sound loud and clear. It's, it's um, no mm -hmm. noise, no distortions. Could you hear, I can hear you clearly, clearly. Now that's pretty. That's pretty dope. Um, Eric, can go. What do you get? What do you think? I can't hear a single traffic noise or car sound or anything that is not your voice. I think it's awesome. Sounds very clear. And I'm not gonna lose much yeah, because literally there are cars passing me like continuously. This is actually that's pretty wild and that, and that's good. Um, Easy. What about you? Yeah, the last person. Yeah, for me, it's pretty clear. Like, I wouldn't have been able to tell that you were using um, headphones for this call. With all that being said, the call quality is a 9 over 10. The eight different microphones around the headphones really isolated my voice and removed a lot of background noise. Now, great work from Sony. Now, plus the battery life is absolutely solid. It has 30 hours of battery with active noise cancellation on and 40 hours without it. Now, some may be disappointed by this, but you can really use this for a full week without even charging your phone. And I'm very satisfied with it. Okay. Uh, so let's see i have the right camera angle uh, am i doing it right yeah there we go uh hey guys so i just got back from my day in the life and i can say it's been very different i've never oh shit. oops i have never done oops oh, this is awkward i have never done a video like this before so this was me getting out of my comfort zone but between the sony xm5s and the sony xm4s um i would say between these two it's kind of funny because with the, if you have the xm4s then you should definitely not upgrade to the xm5s they are almost identical in every sector or every factor the sound quality is very on par with each other it's almost the same there is not much of a difference the build quality too is slightly different in design but in terms of uh durability and you know build factor they're almost also identical now the only two the only place these two things differ is with its microphone battery life and i think the noise cancellation is slightly better on the xm5s than the xm4s but my recommendation is if you have the xm4s you do not need to upgrade to the xm5s if you don't have any of them, then I think you should still go for the XM4s because at this point in time, it's definitely cheaper than the XM5. So that is good value for money. But what do you guys think? Do you think the XM4s are better than the XM5s or vice versa? Comment below and let me know. And guys, if you liked videos like this, if you want to see more day in the life type of videos, please comment and let me know because I would love to hear your feedback so I can implement that feedback. Again, my name again is KJ OS and I will catch you guys in the next one where I talk all things tech. Wasn't easy, but I stuck to the ten. I move in silence, me not say why to them. Who's the sheep's clothing? They just did pretend. Bad bella them, me not ever beg friend. Cause they want my life to end, but to lose what they from me.